Hey everybody, this is Chris, your dependable host for all things Reed, and I'm here with Nick at Reed. Nick, how you doing? Pretty good, how about you? It's great to see you. Great to see you too. So Nick, I believe you have some maintenance tips for us when it comes to the feed tap drilling machine. I do. Excellent. To isolate the boring bar, first you need to unthread the threaded washer. Tighten the set screw so that it doesn't get in the way when you slide it out. You can see that it's below the surface. Remove the top cap. And remove the boring bar. To remove corrosion from the boring bar, you want to use something with a little bit of abrasion, definitely not steel wool, but a Scotch-Brite pad works just fine. Here on the main shaft, gently go back and forth to remove any of the corrosion. Customers near saltwater need to be especially attentive to this step. You don't want the corrosion to disrupt any of the O-rings, and you want the function to be smooth. To add lubricant, first you need to remove the top cap. With the top cap off and the boring bar retracted, you will need to grab a food grade lubricant and lubricate in between the boring bar and the other internal components. Sometimes we get customer calls that their machine has stopped feeding. Now, in most cases, it'll be because the spring pin acts as a shear pin when you are overfeeding, and it will shear, making it so you will not be able to feed and that you'll be able to rotate this thrust washer. In order to fix the problem, you need to pound out the sheared off pin and install a new pin in its place. Well, Nick, those are some great maintenance tips. Mm -hmm. You know, I really like the one, especially where you showed us how to remove the pin because you can do that on location yourself. Yep, yep, makes it very, very useful. Sure thing. Well, thank you, Nick. No problem.